Welcome back to class, everybody. Uh, that basket's going fucking nuts. And as you can tell by the disorganization of my room, I was fucking around with my lightning spears again. Because <laughs> these are just too cool. Boom! Anywho, today's episode is about your stereotypical celts. I'm fairly sure they're called the Latene celts, like L.A. space T.N. Or T E N E, La Tene, maybe. I don't know. I'm probably butchering that. They're your stereotypical, like, Britannic, Irish, kind of northern Celtic, northwestern Celts. Um, something that set them apart from, like, the rest of the Gauls and whatnot was the fact that they had a big thing about, like, swords. Like, the bigger your sword, the more manly you were, kind of thing. So while other cultures kind of adapted like to getting uh uh or no it went in reverse sorry other cultures adapted to get longer swords like the gladius to the spatha the uh xiphus later became a uh, sim somewhat similar to the spatha just in general swords grew longer as steel got better and you could make a longer sword that wouldn't break the Celts actually went in reverse of that, starting out with these big two-handed Bronze Age swords that slowly got shorter as they went on for something that could cut and thrust in the melee a lot easier. Because it was less about two champions settling their differences on the glorious field of war and more about 50, 60 dudes stabbing each other to death in a fucking cow patty field. <laughs> So you know they they kind of they they aged in reverse. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and check my spacing because last episode you know I fuck, nearly broke my damn knuckles uh, punching Ali's belt rack. Now uh, for those of you who don't know it's it's her her display shelf for her martial arts ranks. Uh, she handmade it out of all the boards she broke throughout her time, and it is it is sturdy. <laughs> Ow. Um, oh, just, I'm, I'm like, you don't see it. Like, I'm doing this right now, kind of. Like, I'm, I'm like flexing my fingers a little. Just to, it's, it's, uh, hold on, let me. So it's this guy and my middle finger that, that I just cracked on that wall. And again, I'll say it again. For as bad as the tracking can be on this, these things are fucking durable. I've smacked them on so many hardwood surfaces. I'm surprised that they still work. All right, moving on. So the Celts, obviously Bronze Age antennae swords are their thing. Now, this is not actually Sujin's work right here. This is based off the Hallstatt sword. I got this from Spike's Armory on the Nexus, as well as a few other things. I'm pretty sure this axe I got there as well. The reason I went with this axe over, like, because, you know, the Celts, they're going to bring whatever they can to war with them. They weren't as organized as, like, the Franks or the Germanic peoples. Uh, they were really just about settling land disputes, fighting for the, the, you know, the glory of their tribe or whatever. They weren't really super dedicated soldiers. Um, there we go. Make sure I don't have any spells equipped. Um, so I decided, you know, chances are they're going to have an axe on hand for chopping wood or whatever. Might as well bring that. Uh, the reason I went with this one over the Norse Axe is because I use the Norse Axe all the time, and I figured I'd, I've downloaded Spike's Armory, and I haven't really given it a fair go yet. So I'm going to see how well this Axe performs in the uh, in the melee. Yeah, if it does well, awesome. If it don't do well, that's on me. Because um, we all know the Norse Axe does work. Why does my nose always itch right when I need to record? Like, seriously, I had 20 minutes in between uh, the last episode and this one where I wasn't doing shit. My nose didn't itch. The moment I hit record, my nose starts to itch, and it's the most annoying thing. Ugh. All right. Anywho, on my back, I've got the Celtic Leaf Spear. This thing's deadly, not just because, like, Sujin makes all of his fuck out my way. Not just because, like, Sujin makes all of his shit super, like, sharp and deadly. Come back here. You're going back on the wall because I like you. Because, uh, like, he, yeah, he seriously makes all of his spears super sharp and deadly. Like, look at that. Um, the reason this would actually be deadly is how wide it is. Like, if I choke way the hell up here, look at how thick that bitch is. 
it's easy to make because it's it's not really the finest hammering but that width going into your body is going to create a large wound and while it's not the most peaked so in reality it wouldn't have the greatest armor pen um it, it's still gonna you know pen and that wide cut there is going to leave a lot of bleeding really fast so this I could see being more used for hunting than for warfare, but again, the Celts probably did both with both. You know, if I had a bow and I, and I was some Celtic tribesman and my my landlord was like, yo, I need you and your buddies to go fuck up those guys and steal all their horses, because horses, I'd be like, I'll go get my bow. <laughs> I'll go get my fucking fire axe. I'll I'll go, you know, get my dagger off the shelf and I go fuck them up. Now for shields, um the Celts had a variety of shields. None of them were uber massive. Uh, I mean some were decent sized, kind of like the Saxon shield sized. Um something usually about this size, this width, a lot like their Germanic neighbors. But again, they really liked to, to get into the cut and thrust. They weren't much for formation fighters. Early Celts really were not going to fight in formation and, like, have dedicated battle lines. They just bum-rushed you. <laughs> so I went with a smaller shield, which even has Celtic colors, the, the white and green here, um, just because this is more of a bash cut block kind of shield not really good against arrows but i'm hoping i'll be able to uh to make do um because this is typically more of what a salt would carry something small like this um i'm having some some tracking issues real quick let me just let me just rotate my body here there that should fix that i cannot wait to get lighthouses in these corners i uh i worked a 14 hour shift pushing snow the other day it's, uh friday night to saturday morning uh, well technically it was all on saturday it was like 1 a.m or 2 yeah 1 a.m to like 2 p.m or something like that and there were a few hours before that on the friday whatever it was a bitch and and it all paid 18 bucks an hour, 27 if I got any overtime in there. So, you know, woo, <laughs> getting closer to, uh, but I did just have to buy $150 boots for work because my other boots had a hole in them, which froze my feet because ice water got in them, like through the bottoms of my boots. So now I got better boots that that shouldn't be a problem. And y'all don't care about my boots. Oh, let's go. Um. Typically, the Celts, I mean, yeah, chainmail would be a thing the more wealthy ones would wear, but because only the wealthier ones would wear it, um, and it wouldn't be uber common, I'm going to turn the difficulty down one. Just because, again, these kinds of Gauls, yeah, they would fight the Romans, but mostly they'd fight each other. And we're going to be wearing nothing but, like, shorts and tartans. For those of you who don't know, a tartan is like a fleece pattern it's like that that typical fleece pattern is called tartan t-a-r-t-a-n and it'd be like a short cloak that they would wear over like their upper body and shoulders not not really as armor but more or less just to just to kind of keep your your upper body warm without getting in the way of you swinging there will still be some leather and some as you can see chain and plate opponents but they're not going to be as prevalent as they were in my last episodes because those aren't going to be the majority of my enemy. All right. Oh, I'm going to crouch IRL. Uh, I'm going to stab this guy like right in the back. And then I'm going to kill you. And then I'm going to kill you. No, you know what? I'm going to shove you off the ledge and then I'm going to kill you. And Ah, 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 ah,
beating the shit out of her with the shield. <laughs> All right. I guess they want me to go in through here. Listening for footsteps. Really? There we go. Where did my axe go? Oh, and down I go. Oh, well, I did promise not to abuse my telekinesis, so it's, it's probably for the best that I come down here to get my axe. All right, real quick. Oh, I stepped. I gotta not step. Feet firm, feet planted. And the reason I'm throwing this axe is because, you know, it's an axe. You can throw it. Uh, a real wood chopping axe is going to have some serious weight behind it. Uh, uh. Okay, so it's not an instant kill, even on a headshot, because it doesn't bite very deep into the head. I'm going to have to keep that in mind. Which, again, yeah, a wood chopping axe, while it will have a ton of weight behind it, isn't going to have the lean edge of a, of a murder axe. What the fuck? Aren't you Houdini your ass? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <-ca> <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus! Ugh! <laughs> uh. Uh, 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 uh. Whoa, people. Uh, uh, huh. Uh. Uh. Whoa, uh, uh, uh. there's a lot of you. It's a bad place to be. <sighs> wow, I didn't take that much damage. I thought I took a lot more than that. Damn, there was a lot more of you than I thought there was. I haven't even got my spear out yet. I gotta say though, I am loving that I haven't had to use the spear. Normally I have to re like rely on the spears when it comes to crowds, especially when I was doing the hoplite. I was just, it was just, hey, fuck off. See, I just sit back here and stab at them. And I hide in a doorway like this and just pokey pokey till everybody's dead. Stuck in the floor. Ah! Yeah, see, like that, you could just launch a bitch with a spear. 
Speaking of which, I'm going to start needing to use it. Bum rush, bum rush, bum rush, bum rush. That's a false. What the fuck were you up to? Defensible location. Retreat immediately. <laughs> Woo. Okay. <laughs> oh, they just push. <laughs> ah, my spear. <laughs> Nobody behind me? <laughs> oh, it went through! Ugh. Archers. Archers have been deployed. <laughs> Magic! You filthy heretic! Ugh. Let go of my spear! I knew you'd come from behind me. Ah, ah, ah. In the groin. In the gut. Keep backing up. I can't let him. Can't let him get behind me. Ah. 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 Wait for it, wait for it. Nobody, okay. Use your filthy magics on your friends. So Celt Spear is not a one-hit kill, kind of like the, you know, unlike the the Dory and the uh, the Pillum kind of were. Oh damn it! I really need to get better with the bows in this game. Well, I need better tracking to do that. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> Well, it can't, it can't be that. Oh my god, it literally does just stop on her face. Mm. Mm. That's the dumbest arrow. Anywho, um, the Celt Spear did not let me down. Even though it's not a one-hit kill, that, that is a bit more accurate to its, like... Hi! You okay up there? Uh. Oh, jeez. Let's see. Ah! There you go. Now you're free. Won't be friends. Okay. Do you want? Do you want to be my friend? Oh! <laughs> okay. Not friends. You have made your choice clear. X? 
Wait there for me. No. Come here. Wait there for me. Okay, X. Let's go. I said, let's go. All right. <laughs> so, Spear didn't let me down much. I mean, it, it kind of got bogged up. Kind of got, you know, I had to give a couple hard delivers. Some of them were one-hit kills. Some of them took two stabs. I think one guy took like three or four. Um, <laughs> oh, damn it. I'm never going to get that. Um, but all in all, it, it was a good spear. The shield didn't even let me down. The shield blocked what the shield had to block. As you can see, I've still got a ton of health, and I didn't even have to use my fucking healy do. Um, there were some enemies, uh, sitting around in, like, chainmail and shit. There we go. Actually, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No! Oh, I was gonna hang it, but I didn't get time. Um, I had some guys in chainmail and shit that I was able to kill with either the axe or the sword with a good stab. One person in chainmail, I hit them. They, f what were you doing up there? Pot. What were you doing? You're not allowed down here. You know better. Bad pot. Get back up there. Back to Brazil. Um, there was one I was able to hit him and they fell down and I just drove the advance. So definitely a good sword, especially for that thrust, that, that cut and thrust. That's what I'm looking for, the cut and thrust. Definitely a good sword for that. The axe uh, I was pretty pleased with as well. This is a decent axe by uh, Spiked Armory. Or Spike's Armory, Spiked Armory, one of the two. Um, hits... Hits with a good bit of force, you know, good chopper to it. Um, the one thing I didn't like was that it doesn't bite as deep as, say, the Norse axe would. Uh, it's not in here any anymore. It's down here. Boop. Didn't bite as deep as this guy would. This guy would fucking sink into somebody's head. And as you see, it's got a bit thicker, if I choke up here, one's definitely got that thicker woodsman blade going on to it. Uh, this one, not so much, but, you know, I, I, I brought it, I made that decision, I liked that decision. It it performed admirably. Um, all in all, they were able to kill all three. Do they need to kill all three? No. No, they do not. Could they kill all three? Possibly. Probably. And yes. Um, I'm not going to give them the, the the full benefit of the doubt on some of their weapons. Because like the Hallstatt sword that I'm using, not every Celt fighting would have a sword. Most would have that axe. The axe still performed, but most would have that axe. So offensively, they do get an A. Eh, well, no, you know, I'll make it a B plus. I'm going to make it a B plus, not quite an A. On defense, I gotta give them, like, a C, though. Because, like, from all my digging into the Celts, armor just was not a commonality among them. A lot with, like, early Germanics and other types of Gauls and whatnot, armor just wasn't a big thing. They much preferred to fight in the nude, painted blue, than, than they did wearing all kinds of armor. Um, If they did, like a Ford armor, it was usually like leather scale or, or even wood toggled scale, or it was like layers of thick clothing that would mostly just protect them from the cold. Not even like a true gambeson, just thick clothing. Um, all in all, not the best. So I'm giving them a C there. So total grade, a B. So Celt, B. Class dismissed.